Hi, it's Stephen here from Hong Kong from above. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed my videos up to now. Um, I've been doing a lot of photography, uh, aerial photography from around Hong Kong, and I hope to expand that to other countries that I'm visiting. Um, what I'm what I'm doing here is that I'm going to um, I'm heading off to the Philippines very shortly, and I'm going to bring you along for that for that journey. Now, one of the reasons why I'm going over there is to um, help out with a project um, by the foreigner in the Philippines, and in particular, um, a, a young lady who's um, seriously ill um, with um, TB on the spine, and the, where they built her a house, but unfortunately she doesn't have any power. So what I'm what I'm proposing is that it's not really a permanent solution; it's may, mainly a stopgap solution until something more permanent can be arranged. But what I'm hoping to do is to try out some solar solutions. And what I've uh, procured is a um, 10 watt solar system that includes a um, battery and a um, solar panel. Mind you, only 10 watts, but it's better than nothing. And hopefully, it should provide her with um, a couple of hours of light every night. So, here's what we've got here. So, let me show you over here. Now, what we've got here is the solar panel, uh, it's 10 watts. And um, as you can see, it's got all the nice little specifications on the back. Um, it can, um, it says it will provide up to 10 watts of power. And shortly I'm going to go upstairs um, into the sun and in the shade and just see what the performance of that at. Going with it is this beast. Now let me show you what this is all about. Now. this beast here so okay so let me show what it's all about so. so basically what it is it's just a simple setup this is a small small battery so connected with the solar panel this will provide around nine Nine, nine amp hours of power. Okay, that doesn't sound a lot, and it isn't a lot. Um, basically, what it's designed to do is to connect these up, which is here, which is a five watt LED light. Okay, so these are the the lights that we're going to hook up hook up to the battery, hook it up to the solar panel, and hopefully she'll have a couple of hours every night to do um, her, her necessary things before she goes to bed. So that's the plan. Um, hopefully it's gonna be something that she, that she finds useful. But first, first things first, I'm gonna head upstairs and I'm gonna test the, the voltage and the amperage of the particular uh, power supply. Not the power supply. I'm going to go upstairs shortly and I'm going to test the voltage and amperage of the solar panel. So yes, okay, so I'll be back shortly. Okay, first test in the shade. Um, as you can see the sun's gone behind a the building, there's no sunlight directly on it so it's pretty much close enough to a, a cloudy day, um, a cloudy day. Okay, so let's have a look at the results. Okay, so here we go. Here's my little multimeter. Okay, we're going to be testing first the voltage. Okay, the voltage is showing. Let's see. Even in the shade, you can see 19.9. Okay, it's not too bad. Now, let's check the amps, the amperage. 64. 64.1. There we go. Okay, so that's test one done. Now let's move to the let's move to the sun. Oh, I moved over to a sunnier position. I'm going to set up the same thing and do the same experiment. Okay, here we go. Right. Voltmeter at zero. Voltmeter still connected up. We're going to start with the volts again. Okay. Oh, I've got a ramp it up to the next level. 
Bana çıkın şu an. There you go. There you go. 21.6 volts. Okay. That's in sunlight. Bearing in mind, this is in the afternoon. Um, this is about, we're about 3.30 3 in Hong Kong right now. So it's winter time as well, so it's not peak daylight either. So let's change it over to amps from the 200 range, which we're right. We can do the same test again and measure the amps. Now, we're measuring 153. So you can see there's a lot more current going through the system. About It has got a voltage there of an accurate value, which will charge the uh, lead acid battery that we've got. So it just will take a longer time. Okay, there we go. There we have it. Solar panels do work even on cloudy days, but just probably about half efficiency. Right, I'm back now. Um, I did some investigation on that. Um, what I realized is that the voltmeter that I've got is um, only, only supposed to support 200 milliamps. And according to the specifications on the panel, it supports up to 5, 0.5 amp. What is it on here? Let's see, let's read it again. What does it say? It says it um, supports 0.55 amps, which is 550 milliamps. So um, when I'm looking at the reading, it's not going to be reading properly because it's actually over, it's overpowering the poor little machine. So the voltage was correct. It showed 19.9 uh, .9 volts in the shade and 21.9 in uh, bright sun. And, and by my calculations, it should power enough to be able to do about, you know, on a regular cycle throughout the day, charging with even mediocre sun, it should give her about 20 or 30 watts of power every day, which is more than enough to one of these five watt, five watt lamps here. So yeah, we'll give it a go. Hopefully it's gonna be something that she can use and we'll go from there. That's all for me, Stephen here from Hong Kong from above, please like, comment, and subscribe. And please do check out um, the foreigner in the Philippines, see what he's up to. Um, I think he's doing some tremendous work there along with his wife Beth, and they deserve um, any support you can give them, even if it's just to watch their videos and like and subscribe to his channel as well. So thanks a lot. Um, we'll catch you around, and I'll keep you um, keep you informed of um, on my travels and give you more um, drone footage of. Um, Hong Kong and of course my upcoming Philippine trip. Catch you all later. Bye.